Hello. So, this is the signifier, and the first chapter of it is called Sissi ne pa un peep. But in English it's called This is not a pipe. So, um, I have not played this before, so you're, you're seeing it as I'm seeing it, essentially. Objectives, investigate, box, uh, okay. The idea was an office lab hybrid. All right, so this is the box I guess I'm going to investigate. Russell, did you receive it? It just arrived. Good. Listen, priority is to find the real cause of death. Early reports indicate suicide, a drug overdose, but I don't buy it. It doesn't make sense. She was too important and the timing was odd. She was a lawyer at GoAT, right? More like the vice president. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So now you see how deeply in trouble you'd be if anything leaks out. You're putting me in a tough spot here, Tom. Not if you're careful, Russell. Just make sure nothing leaks out. Why not wait for the full autopsy? Why do you need me? We need to move faster, and if there's something bigger going on, we need to investigate it. This is a one-time chance to catch them. Go AT has been dodging us for way too long. So you want me to spy on them through her memories? No, I just want you to find out how she died, which is legal. But if I'm right, it will take us somewhere nasty. I know there's something off. We just need to find out what. All right. I'll do what I can. Good. Remember, it's because of these people we're here in the first place. Well, we don't know anything yet. We will, Russell. I've been in this for too long to know it's not just suicide. You'll see. So, I've given you access to her apartment on Stratford Avenue. They're about to wrap it up over there. But Detective Stan Becker's waiting for you. He knows you're coming. If you want to investigate the real place, you should head out there now. All right. I'll check it out. Okay, then. I'll leave you to it. Don't keep Stan waiting, and keep me posted on anything you find. Sure. See ya. Meet Stan at Johanna's apartment. Okay. Well, first impression is actually pretty good. The graphics look really, really nice. Um, use the cell phone to travel. Um, oh, okay. But I don't. I want to look at that machine first. To see what what that gizmo is. Looks pretty cool. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Portal kind of graphics, but there you go. Raw data, subjective entities. Evie update. Okay. okay Just a quick let's... update on Evie. We've uploaded a few more natural language modules that have really improved her speech. But the biggest upgrade is a module that allows her to learn from us. It does use some processing power, but it's worth it. The biggest gains occur when she is actually on a conversation and being challenged, instead of relying only on big data analysis. So since she's learning from us all the time, we should try to speak to her naturally. Be polite with her. Explain things. Correct her when she makes linguistic errors, and so on. The clearer our language, the clearer she'll be when trying to interpret data to us later. All right, use the cell phone to travel. Let's see. Travel. Uh, Johanna's apartment. Go. Yeah. Mine sections. Press once. Didn't get to read that. Okay. So. Again, I, I have to say I'm impressed with the graphics. Um, I mean, some stuff looks a little clunky like this, but the general, the general view of things... Hey, it's pretty Russell, cool. Right? Tom said you'd come. Feel free to take a look around, but don't touch anything. And let me know if you have any questions. Is he incredibly tall, or am I calibrated really short? I don't know. But yeah, look at this. The graphics are really quite cool. I'm, uh, I'm impressed by that. How am I supposed to examine Probably this? Probably her last meal. Okay. Yeah, I guess whatever it was was her last meal since she's dead. Oh, more something to see here. Go AT's Indie Tech Magazine, a hub for independent tech to show off their work. Translation, a hub to check for new tech and ideas and absorb them before they grow. At least that's always been the trend with these companies. Very cool graphics. I like 
Okay, uh, yeah, um, somebody Looks like where the body was is not here anymore. Jesus sleeping pills. You need a prescription for these. I'm sure you do. Clearly she'd been drinking. Clearly. Broken. Broken. Looks like an expensive mask. Yeah, I guess it does look like an expensive mask. Men's clothes. Why would that be unusual? Let's see. Another broken mirror. I don't think it's a coincidence. Vomit. Vomit. Let's say that one more time. Vomit. There you go. Okay. So I'm, uh, I've investigated, I think. Oh. Another broken mirror. I don't think yeah, it's a coincidence. Already... Okay. Oh. I wonder what's in those boxes. I wonder what's in those boxes. I can't grab it. Doesn't look like I can grab it. Okay. So, what do we do here? Should we go downstairs again? Yeah? You're incredibly tall. I don't know why. I feel like... Okay, anyway. Thanks, family, who found her theories. Um, let's see. Who found... Wait, how do I... How do I select one of these? I'm trying to select it, and I'm unable to. So far, it must be out of the dialogue. Okay, I, I apologize. How do I... I'm having trouble selecting any of these. Oh, oh, I can crouch. Okay, but I still... I want to figure out how to click any of these, and I'm not managing to click any of these things. Okay, here you go. Um, Do you have any theories about what happened? It's a little early yet, but everything points to suicide. There are lots of loose ends as to why, especially considering who she was. Her laptop, for example, is gone. We haven't been able to find it. So who knows how deep that thing goes. Even so, I don't think there's a possibility someone sneaked in and forced her to take some pills somehow. But don't take my word for it. We don't even have the full autopsy report yet. Fair enough. Who found her? Didn't you get the report? It was her husband. Do you know anything else about him? His name is Alex. Pretty average guy. Fitness trainer. The victim had kicked him out a few months ago. They were about to get a divorce. He came by to pick up some stuff he'd left here. Could he have been angry about the divorce? Yeah. But as I said, she'd been dead for at least six hours before he got here. So if somehow he forced her to take an overdose over the phone, then yeah, he could have done it. That sounds weird. What time did he find her? The morning after, and called right away. The security cameras corroborate the time he arrived, so we don't have any reason to suspect him. Did she leave any children or family? No, no children, no brothers or sisters, foreign parents that she didn't see much. For now, that's all I know. And a husband. Pretty regular corporate profile, if you ask me. Thanks. No problem. Okay. Okay. I think I have enough information from the real place. Time to find out what her memories have to say about what happened. All right. It must be near an exit, it said. So let's go near the exit and get back to the lab and use the memory machine. You will suddenly have to make choices that are both personal, and then it disappeared. Objective list. Okay. So, now we're going to go into the machine to try to, uh, check out her memories. No disc uploaded yet. No disc uploaded. I've got nothing to put in there. The brain disc should be in the box. The brain disc should be in the box. But it isn't. I've got nothing to put in there. So where's brain disk? Brain disk. Oh, is it? Did, didn't I have something in my inventory? How do I get my inventory? Upload is ready. 
Oh, that's it? Okay. Evie, ready? Yes. Okay, good. Please operate on patch 1.2. And scan for the latest memory you can find, ideally just before her death. Understood. I hope this isn't too, too scary. I'm very bad at horror games in VR. I laugh at horror movies. I don't care what they show me. I just think it's funny, uh, no matter how gory or graphic. But when it comes to VR, horror trips me out. So I hope there's not too much of that here. So here we go. We're reconstructing, I suppose, her memories. We're matching the spatial similarities and generating dense cloud points. Constructing 3D geometry, projecting spatial reconstruction finished. Okay, so here we are. Um, we, we're got, we've got a spatial reconstruction of her place. So uh, this is when she died. Okay. Find objective information on Johanna's death. Hello there, Joanna. This what was in your mind when, when you looked, you looked at, your, at shadow? your shadow? That's pretty cool. I like the way that's done. My impression of this so far is actually pretty good. Reconstructing glass from memories. I don't think we'll ever get it right. I mean, the selection for the dialogue options was a little bit clunky. Um, I don't like the fact that, you know, I, the disc was sort of lacking and then I was turning around and trying to figure out how to get my inventory working and then it just appeared after I had interacted with it. I think things like that could have been done um, in a more elegant, less confusing way. But... I like the vibe. I like the graphics. Hmm. Interesting glitch on the clock. Could be a filtering error. Could be a filtering error. Could be a filtering error. And there you go, the badly reconstructed glass he was talking about. The bedroom. Lots of missing information here, Evie. This doesn't seem to be the right moment. Yes. I wasn't able to pinpoint any further coordinates. Objective data is incomplete. Reasons? High emotional state. Hmm. She might have known she was going to die. Is there enough data to reconstruct a subjective state of the memory? Yes. Good. I'll enter the subjective state and see what I can find. Oh, cool. Switch state added. You can switch between the subjective memory and the objective memory. I like that. That's pretty Pretty cool. A nice twist. Subjective reconstruction was successful, but I couldn't interpret all data. It's fine, Evie. Subjective interpretation is tough for any AI, even a special one like you. That's very sweet of him. That ladder goes down to the first floor. I can't make sense of this sound. I can't make sense of this sound. Sounds like radio, music. Okay. The objective state uses memory data retrieved from sight and hearing. The subjective experience is filtered out. The subjective state uses all memory data available, including emotions and the subconscious. So yeah, there you go. You switch between your objective state and the subjective state now it's red because I'm in subjective state and if I click it it goes to objective state in blue so we're supposed to gather oh the subjective state includes a child and something where that machine hmm. was there was something here in the objective state yeah there was we said it was a glitch of some sort could this be her as a child in the objective, adult version of her isn't represented. Only her shadow. Okay. That's kind of interesting. There's something here. That isn't triggering anything. Okay. The table looks like it's falling off. Raw data are parts of memories that Evie wasn't able to interpret in this interface. You can attempt to interpret them and find out what they are. When you have arrived at a conclusion, pick it up and place it where it really belongs. 
time and rotation in this interface don't affect the placement result. It belongs somewhere in the memory, but I cannot interpret it. I need to know what it is and where it belongs. All right, I'll study it and put it in the right place. trying to turn it into something I can recognize, but I'm failing quite miserably. sure how to place it somewhere. Evie, do a match with clock data at this spot. Okay. It was a clock. All right. Now what can I do? Should I switch states? Filtering error. Hello there, Joanna. Reconstructing glass from memories. Mm, it repeats. I some don't stuff. think we'll ever get it right. Loading subjective state. Did it retain? It retained the clock, and the clock goes over here for some reason. Could this be her as a child? Hmm. Interesting. We have arrived at a conclusion. Pick it up and place it where it belongs. We did that. So what are we supposed to do now? I guess I'm gonna have to find out. And I guess you're gonna have to find out. If you're interested.
That ladder goes down to the first floor. I can't make sense of this sound. But I think maybe that's enough in terms of a first look. Um, I went way too long in uh, in my first look. I had it pixel ripped to that video around to like 44 minutes or 46 or something. So I think we'll keep this one short, especially because this is the sort of game where you don't really want to spoil things. So, um, yeah, there you go. Our first quick look at the signifier and uh, my impressions of it are pretty cool so far. Like I said, some of the interface elements are a little bit clunky. Um, you know, the selection of the dialogue uh, options was a little bit clunky. Uh, having the hard drive appear without me having to go into an inventory was a little bit weird. Uh, not a very elegant solution. Um, I don't like the fact that if you see so you see this icon here and it's filled up, which implies that there's something to see. The but then you click it. Version of her isn't represented. There you go. It's what I've heard Only before. Shadow. And then um, I'd like the icon to change unless there's something so new to things. see. Because here, see. Looks like a girl. There you Looks go. like a girl. See. It kind of changes a little to indicate whether there's more or whether it's going to repeat, but it, I think it could be clear or it could be grayed out if you've already heard what there is to say, uh, because otherwise it sort of gives me the impression that I'm going to hear something new, but I'm not hearing something new. So the sound is good. I've got it lowered so you can hear me, but the sound is pretty good. The voice acting seems good uh, so far from what I've heard. Um, the graphics are cool, but... And I, I do like the vibe. I think it's a cool vibe. I think this whole notion of shifting between objective and subjective states to determine what's going on um, is pretty cool. I like uh, the graphical stylization of, of, of the memory states. Um, and, you know, in co compared to uh, when you're in the real world, quote unquote. Um, so I think that's all pretty cool. Oh, I can climb up into the room that I couldn't um, in the subjective state. And there's some weird level up there. And yeah, wait, what's what is up there? How far up does it go? Oh, check this out. I did not realize. So there you go. Things get quite weird. Okay, okay. Should I show you what happens when I get up here? Is it a spoiler? Is it a spoiler? Well, it's really the first parts of the game, so it shouldn't count too much as a spoiler. Picture of a dog following her. A picture of a dog following her. I appear to be because I appear to be at the ground level again, even though I've been going up. But it's changed and it's different picture of a dog following her okay I believe you've seen enough weirdness and you've had some idea of how the game works and how it looks and I think we'll conclude the video at this point and leave you to figure out more of this world if and when you choose to play it. Okay, see, that was also a little bit clunky. I was trying to get out of, like, off the ladder and in, onto this floor, or, well, not this floor, but this, I guess, representation of the floor, and it wasn't really letting me do it intuitively, and then it sort of floated me up and allowed it to happen anyway. And the dog is following me around, it looks like. Nice doggy. A picture of a dog. And what's here? 
It's another thingy. Okay, so you solve these three-dimensional puzzles. You try to figure things out. What happened? You shift between different sort of dimensions. Memory, subjective, objective, and whatever this one is, which is kind of weird. Uh, and it's kind of creepy having the picture of a dog following you around like it's a real dog. Um, but yeah, overall my impression is good. I just wish the UI wasn't clunky. Um, but there you go. Those are my first impressions. Good graphics, cool theme, um, nice voice acting, clunky UI. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you found this video useful, you know what to do. Subscribe and like and do all that stuff. It really helps us out and supports us. And um, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.